Legends fans and collectors, we've got the Invisible Woman from the Fantastic Four Retro Marvel Legends wave. Um, this is the first one I picked up recently, actually, um, out of the out of the four. Uh, this one was sitting around at work for a long time, sitting on the shelves. The rest of the Fantastic Four had sold. Um, so yeah, I decided to grab it and uh, start building up the team myself. So as I did, I just recently did uh, Mr. Fantastic Reed Richards. Now we have Sue Storm. Um, so yeah, really, really dig this figure as well. You know, it's it's not groundbreaking in terms of an action figure. It's It's got a body mold that's been used so many times. Um, but it's cool. It's a nice sort of representation of sort of a classic Fantastic Four character. And it sort of even goes sort of for the vibe, the feel of the hair and the, like, the sculpt of the hair and the face and everything. It looks a little bit more... Um, a little bit more retro than sort of some of the, the newer um, Sue Storms that are out there. Um, as I stated, there was a wave um, that was released about a year or year and a half ago, I think, um, of the Fantastic Four and their sort of updated suits. And yeah, definitely a little bit more of a sort of more modern sort of feel to that to that Sue Storm figure. But I, li I like this one. I like it. I think it's good. Again, I like the classic blue and white. I really like the outfit. She does have a peg hole in the back, which, you know, that's from a numerous range of characters that have been out over the years. Um, yeah, if you've got one of those old old style Marvel Legends stands that can prod into the back, you can have a sort of, I don't know, doing a force field or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, use your imagination, people. That's important. Uh, there is another version that was a exclusive to something or other, and it was sort of all her... Uh, she's sort of all clear, um, sort of, a, you know, going on that invisible woman thing. Um, but yeah, again, I like the blue outfit. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, I do have Johnny Storm coming, uh, the exclusive version that comes in his blue suit, as opposed to like the translucent orange and red that makes up the Human Torch, um, which I may get at some point. Um, but yeah, for now, I, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this one. She comes with... A set of fists, so you can have those those two sort of hands um, switched out, and then sort of this sort of open hand, which has been used for lots of lots of characters, um, and also this one, which you know it's been with. We can get that in there. It's a little tight fit. There we go. You know, it's been with a couple of Spider Women and. Um, in Scarlet Witch, perhaps. But yeah, it's, it, it is a female hand, so it's been with a lot of female figures. Um, but she does come with this sort of this sort of shield. Um, I'm not sure what to call it. Force field, I guess. Um, accessory here, which I don't believe has been seen before. But her hand does this one here with the sort of yeah, a little bit more. So that does sort of, her fingers do plug into that. So if you pose it right, you can still sort of see her through it. And that looks kind of cool. I think it's a nice effect. Again, playing with a little bit of lighting, you get some cool photos with that. But that's, that's cool. I like it. Um, Again, the sort of sculpt of the hair is really nice. Um, it's just one flat colour, um, but that's okay. It sort of goes with the with the aesthetic. But yeah, a little bit of little bit of shading in there'd be nice. I could probably do something myself if I can be bothered. Um, but for now, I'm really not. <laughs> so yeah, it does sit nice. So I did what I did. Something I did do um, is the head sat a little bit higher. I wanted this the way the hair sort of sculpted. It sculpted so that it sort of sits on the shoulders a little bit more. So I did sort of um, drill out the internals of her head a little bit more, just so that that peg would slot on a little bit deeper and get the hair sort of sitting on the shoulders. I think it just it just looks a little bit nicer. I know it's not doing it perfectly right now. Um, if I get a hold of a drill, I can probably get to it a little bit better and tidy it up a little bit more. Um, and I will endeavour to do that at some point. But um, yeah, I just wanted that hair to sort of sit sit down on, on like her upper chest and shoulders a little bit more. 
Um, it looked a little bit funny having it all sort of folded around like that and then just sort of sitting in midair. Um, but that's just that's just my personal personal thought on it. But yeah, it's got sort of all the standard um, Marvel Legends articulation going on. Very sort of comic book female form. Yeah, don't really have a lot else to say about this one. Looking forward to, uh, you know, maybe checking out the invisible one with the translucent plastic at some point. But I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I really appreciate your time. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'd really appreciate your feedback, especially with the uh, doing doing Marvel videos as well as my Star Wars content. So. Um, you know, built my Star Wars sort of thing up for 10 years and now I'm sort of branching out a little bit. So I'd love to hear some thoughts um, and feedback. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, we'll see you for The Thing.